In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Cloudflare SSL on WordPress. Free and flexible Cloudflare SSL on WordPress. There are different types of SSL certificates. They also come at a different cost and some of them are free. To the untrained eye, they all do the same thing, which is of course not true. A free SSL certificate is usually a self-signed certificate and regardless of being there, the browsers will prompt visitors with a century warning, which in turn can actually be worse than not having an SSL certificate at all. So how about getting an SSL certificate that's both free and does the job? Totally possible, provided that you understand and accept the following disclaimers. How to add Cloudflare Flexible SSL to WordPress. Here are five things you need to do to set up Cloudflare Free SSL on your site. So the first step is requesting and setting up the free flexible SSL on Cloudflare. So the first thing that we're going to do is sign up for Cloudflare. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. On Cloudflare website, hit sign up. Enter the email that you want to use and your chosen password. Then hit create account. Enter your website, then hit add site. Select the free plan, then hit confirm plan. Now Cloudflare will automatically pull up your A and MX records. Once you see this part, hit continue. All right, so we're gonna need to change our name servers. This is very important, guys. In order for the whole thing to work, you will have to point your name servers to Cloudflare. You will need to configure this at your domain name registrar, which might be different from your hosting provider. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how to change your name servers on your domain registrar to Cloudflare's name servers. So I'm going to change my name servers in Porkbun because my website is registered there. So changing the name service for you might be different. You may contact your domain registrar and ask them how to access your DNS settings and change the name service. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go to Porkbun. You need to log in. Look for your domain. And on the far right, click Details. Look for name servers. In Porkban's case, it's called Authoritative Name Service. Hit Edit. Then change these name servers to Cloudflare's name servers. Go back to Cloudflare and copy the name servers. Paste them both here. Once done, click Submit. Alright, it's done. Once done, go back to Cloudflare and hit Done Check Name Servers. Now you can go through this or just hit Finish later because we're going to do that on the next steps. So whatever domain server you're using, all you need to do is go to your domain registrar's name server section and paste the Cloudflare's name service. Click Finish Later and you will be redirected to the settings for this domain. The next thing that we're going to do is to request the flexible SSL certificate. Click on the lock icon. In case you're not seeing this page right here, click on home and then click on the domain name that you added. All right, let's continue. Click on the lock icon. And on the lower right, choose flexible. If you have pointed your name service to Cloudflare, as instructed in the previous step, the SSL should be active in 15 minutes approximately. This can vary depending on several factors like propagation time on your DNS, Cloudflare, etc. Check back later to see if the SSL is active and proceed. Now the step two is to install required WordPress plugin. So log into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, and click add new. Now we're going to search for a plugin called Cloudflare Flexible SSL plugin. This plugin enables the flexible SSL and prevents the infinite redirect loop which might occur. All right, so click install now and click activate. Now we need to download an HTTPS redirection plugin, which is really simple SSL. The redirection plugins are required when installing Cloudflare SSL on WordPress to avoid the so-called redirect loops. 
the Cloudflare will force all the traffic on your site to HTTPS. The server will have to respond via HTTPS as well. So the last plugin that we're going to install is the really simple SSL. In most cases, you will not need to change any settings after installation. All you have to do is activate the plugin and click on Go Ahead and Activate SSL. Go to Plugins, Add New, search for the plugin called Really Simple SSL, Install, and click Activate. Alright, so that's it for Step 2. Now let's move on to Step 3. The Step 3 is changing the WordPress site URL. There are two URLs associated with WordPress sites. WordPress address and site address. The WordPress address points to the location of your admin pages, content, and other necessary directories and files. This is the core of your site which determines the way it is displayed and determines its functionality. The site address is where visitors land when they visit the site. These two addresses are the same in a default WordPress installation. Why are they sometimes different? Two main reasons. The first reason is that the WordPress installation is not in the root directory on hosting server. Some users put the WordPress site in the subdirectory for security purposes. The second reason is some part of the site are not WordPress. One example would be having a site that has a blog that runs on WordPress, while the other parts of the site are static or made using in a different method or CMS. In the case of flexible Cloudflare SSL on WordPress, we need the site address to point to the HTTPS version of the site served by Cloudflare. The WordPress address should remain the same as it is, pointing to our hosting server, which does not have an SSL certificate. Changing WordPress address will break your site. Only change the site address. So, on your WordPress admin dashboard, go to Settings and click General. And just change the HTTP prefix to the HTTPS. Alright, so once that is done, we're done with step 3. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to step 4. The step 4 is to enforce HTTPS via Cloudflare. There are some final redirection tweaks that you will have to make on Cloudflare. Let's follow these steps. Go back to your profile on Cloudflare. Select your domain. Select the lock icon, then Edge Certificates. Now turn on the option Always Use HTTPS, located approximately in the middle of the page. Check the Opportunistic Encryption and Automatic HTTPS Rewrites options. They should be enabled by default. If they aren't, enable them now. Alright, so we're finally done setting up our Cloudflare with our WordPress website. This is the moment of truth. We're going to go back to our website and hit refresh and see if we're going to have a lock icon. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so go to your website. As you can see right now, it's still saying it's not secured. Alright, let's hit refresh. Alright, congratulations! Our website is now secured. We now have the lock icon. And Cloudflare is the one providing the SSL certificate to our website. Okay, we're done with step 4. Now let's go ahead and do the last step, which is step 5. Alright, so the step 5 is resolving mixed content issues. By the time you get to this step, your site should automatically redirect the visitors to the HTTPS version of your site. Redirecting a WordPress site can lead to mixed content issues. This means that some resources, including links, images, scripts, etc., are loaded over the insecure HTTP protocol while the site is loaded over the HTTPS. Depending on the browser, the padlock might be missing from the address bar or your site will not be displayed as fully secured. Hard-coded insecure URLs. The URLs which are hard-coded can be found in the team and or plugin files. This happens because developers use absolute instead of relative paths. See this example. In this case, you will have to edit problematic files manually. Since it is impractical to just search the team or plugins files for the hard-coded links, the best thing to do is to use the string locator plugin. It will help you locate the file and the exact line of code on which the insecure URL is located. Verify that your site is resolving under HTTPS. 
If you follow these steps correctly, your site will resolve under HTTPS. In order to avoid any issues in the process, it is important to do everything in the same order. Bear in mind that some changes will take more time. Therefore, you might not be able to do this in one go. If you are using a caching plugin, empty the cache. It is also a good idea to clear the cache from your browser before checking to see if it is resolving correctly. Hopefully, now your website is running a Cloudflare SSL on WordPress and has a green lock. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed our video. However, if you are still not able to set up SSL on WordPress, feel free to contact our WordPress support. Alright, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, kindly click the like button. Hit subscribe and the bell icon so that you won't miss our next videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.